Hi, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will talk about the prokaryotic regulatory elements prediction. We will talk about the prokaryotic promoter prediction and as well as the termination sequences. As we have discussed in regular lectures that the prokaryotic coding sequences and as well as the regulatory element prediction moves hand to hand. If you have predicted the coding sequence, but you wouldn't predicted the regulatory elements, then your gene overall gene prediction is incomplete. So in the first part, we have talked about the coding sequence prediction. Now in this part, we are going to talk about the regulatory elements prediction. Let's first talk about the prokaryotic promoter prediction. To predict the prokaryotic promoter, once again, we are going to use the SoftBerry tool. And this tool is known as BPROM. The B stands for the bacteria and the PROM basically comes from the promoter. To get an access of this tool, we will simply click on this BPROM. And when we will click on this BPROM, we will land to the next page, which is dedicated for the bacterial promoter prediction. Here in this box, we will paste our DNA sequence in which we want to make a predictions about the promoters. So we will copy our DNA sequence and we will paste it here in this box. And then finally, we will click on this process button. When we will click on the process button, after the few moments, we will have our results. As you can see it here that there are many different promoters which are predicted in our submitted DNA sequence. Now, before interpretation of these results, some terms need to be understood. In the regular lectures, we have talked about the structure of a bacterial promoter and we have discussed that in a bacterial promoter, the two consensus sequences are very important. The one is a minus 10 box. Another one is known as the minus 35 box. Now, what does it mean by the minus 10 box? The minus 10 box is present 10 nucleotide before the transcription start side, and minus 35 box is present 35 nucleotide before the transcription start side. Why they are no, uh, why they are represented here with a minus sign? Because they are present in an upstream region. To the transcription start side that's why there is a minus notion used here if the sequences are present after the transcription start side then the positive uh, notions are used to number the nucleotides now in the promoter the minus 10 box and the minus 35 boxes are very much essential and they are recognized by the sigma factor of rna polymerase in the prokaryotes we can actually see it here that in a promoter, first promoter is located at 453 nucleotide position and it contains a minus 10 box and minus 35 box. The minus 10 is box is located at 4, 438 nucleotide position while minus 35 box is located at 417 position. And this is a sequence of a minus 10 box and this is a sequence of a minus 10, a minus 35 box. Similarly, we are going to have a prediction about the second promoter and this second promoter is located at 6782 nucleotide position in our submitted DNA sequence. And similarly, we have a prediction about the many other different uh, promoters which, which could be present in our submitted DNA sequence. If you come uh, at the bottom, then you can find out another table and in this table you are going to have some other predictions along with the minus 10 box and the minus 35 box in the promoter. There could be the uh, sequences for the binding of transcription factors. Now let's take a pause and let's try to understand what are the transcription factors. It's not only the RNA polymerase which is going to uh, perform that process of transcription in a bacteria. The RNA poly along with the RNA polymerase, there are many other different proteins which are going to help in a binding of RNA polymerase to the promoter sequence and to initiate the overall process of transcription. These proteins are known as the transcription factors. Now these transcription factors are going to bind to the promoter region after recognition of a specific sequences which are present along with the promoter. 
so these sites are also very much important and they are also the regulatory elements so for the first one motor which was located at 453 position you can actually find it how find it out that there are the four uh, transcription binding sites which are present in our promoter one similarly for the promoter two there are the two transcription factor binding sites and similarly for the rest of the other promoters you can find it out that uh, there are the binding sites for the transcription factor for some promoters there isn't any such binding site for the transcription factor and this could be uh, this could be very valid now we hope so that in this first part you guys would have now good idea how to make a prediction about the prokaryotic promoter sequences in the next part we will talk about the prokaryotic termination sequences prediction. Stay tuned with us.